Welcome to the Middle East Peace Update Report. Today is February 12th, 2015, and the report today will be entitled The Burden of Egypt Based on Isaiah 19. And I'd like to say thank you to Lynn for posting in our Facebook group uh, this article on Egypt wanting to move into Palestine to protect Israel. I'll link that um, headline that Lynn posted in our group. I'll link that to this audio report. It's a very interesting title um, in the headline. And when you read Isaiah 19, it's interesting that That chapter is broken up into really two events. One, the Lord, for some reason, is extremely angry with Egypt and rides into Egypt on a dark cloud, a swift cloud, the scripture says. And he begins to dismantle uh, the idols and the pillars of Egypt. And he brings it down and humbles them. And the scripture also says that the fishermen are in mourning because the waters have dried up and have turned rotten. And the uh, the fishermen can't fish anymore. And so they're mourning. And so the economy of Egypt seems to fall into ruins. Then toward the end, around um, the end of the the chapter, the Lord talks about reestablishing Egypt and reuniting Egypt with the Jews and with the Assyrians and uh, really heals the differences between the three groups the Assyrian, the Egyptian, and the Jews, and um, shows favor to all three. So it's a very interesting prophetic uh, chapter. And, you know, as I read that Egypt wants to now get involved in in, um, fast-forwarding, if at all possible, the Middle East peace process. Um. It's just, um, it's very puzzling as to, you know, what Egypt wants to do, what they want to achieve. They, They want to help promote a peace in the Middle East between the Palestinians and the Jews, Israel. And they're making it seem like they're Israel's friend and protector. And we all know Israel doesn't really need protection, that their protection comes from the Lord. And also Israel has got the largest and best equipped military in the Middle East. So it's a little puzzling as to what uh, Sisi of Egypt is trying to accomplish. Um, And I don't know if he's trying to just elevate his own prestige and stature as the leader of Egypt, hence saying that Israel needs his protection. I'm not too sure what all of that's about. Um, But we know from the scripture that Egypt is going to do something that angers God. And he is personally going to deal with them very severely. Uh, Maybe all of this is going to tie into uh, Egypt doing something to Israel. Um, Well, look, let's face it. If they help to promote the Middle East peace process and Israel uh, started getting divided up into pieces, um, that would anger the Lord. And yes, the Lord would go after Egypt to settle the score with them in a matter of speaking. So uh, I could see if if this is the the track Egypt is going down and they succeed in brokering a peace deal that ends up hurting Israel, then there you go. Isaiah 19 is <laughs> definitely will be fulfilled and that and the Lord will punish them 
for hurting his people and hurting his land. So, in, in fact, he not only will he punish Egypt, but he'll punish all the nations in the world that have helped to divide up Israel. So, very interesting times, very interesting headline. And I just wanted to make a few comments about it. Um, things are happening so fast and many things are happening all at the same time. It's getting very difficult to keep track of all of it. And only the Lord knows where all of these little pieces to his greater puzzle are going to fit. It's, it's hard to know anymore that A equals B, B equals C, C equals D. Very hard to follow and track. Um, but I'm going to keep doing uh, the best I can with the Lord's help to bring you clarity and connect the dots between the Bible and the headlines like we're doing here today. Um, I Now that Egypt is wanting to move to, into Palestine to help the Jews and the Palestinians broker a peace deal. I would keep my eye on General CC and Egypt to see what further develops, but I'd watch it very carefully. Um, I think there might be some surprises uh, that come up as this starts to get developed. So this is bro stuff. Um, and uh, if you want to go to our Facebook group and join in the conversation, go to facebook.com slash groups slash brosteph. If you'd like to read our intelligence reports, go to brosteph.org. And if you'd like to listen to more of our intelligence audio, uh, go to audioboom.com slash brosteph. And you can just go to those different websites and you can find all of the information that we talk about and we put out over the internet. So remember now, keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon. And don't forget um, to live out your faith because that's what we're here for. We're here to live out our faith and to encourage people to come to the saving knowledge that Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach is the Messiah, is the Savior of the world, and those that don't know him really need to consider surrendering their hearts to him and committing in their hearts to turn from their sin and to walk with Yeshua in faith and obedience. So if you haven't done that, go to my blog at brosteph.org and on the right side, scroll down about halfway and click on the link on the right that says Meet Yeshua. We have some very interesting information and scriptures laid out for you right there. Have a great uh, night, and I'll talk to you again real soon. This is Bro Steph. Thanks for listening.